Stephen F. Austin State University researchers are front and center in an effort to save a type of whale on the endangered species list since 2008. In this week's Hooked on East Texas, we take you inside the Bruck Lab, where at SFA, there's ongoing research that hopes to save the whales. It's a whale of a tale into new research on beluga whales. And Stephen F. Austin State University professors and students are playing a huge role. So we basically were looking at the vocal repertoire of the beluga whales um, at the Georgia Aquarium. Researchers, including graduate biology student Sonny Schoenhoff, want to know how whales talk to each other. So we were playing back their vocalizations to them to uh, see from their point of view what they saw as same or different. They spent the summer at the Georgia State Aquarium. There, they played sounds of whales recorded from an earlier trip to the same aquarium. We're actually able to play sounds back to the belugas and ask them how they perceive the different calls of their own system. So it's kind of like a Rosetta Stone trying to figure out all the different ways belugas can communicate with each other. They spent weeks playing sounds to the whales using underwater speakers. They played three sounds that were the same, but the fourth was different. So with them, we did an example would be three whistles in a row. So it would be like a clean, straight whistle. And then the fourth would be more of like a chirp pulse. These sounds didn't require high-tech equipment. Instead, biology student Matt Crandall used a modified iPod Classic to catalog, then play back the sounds. And the reason why we have to use a special iPod is because it plays at a higher uh, sampling frequency so that they can hear the noises that we can't necessarily. Shyla's giving us kind of some spy hops and head bobs back there, so she's definitely... Back at the Bruck Lab on SFA's campus, the data collected over the summer is analyzed on spectrographs. The information ultimately could shed light on why communication is so important to survival. So it's definitely a very big role to understand what they're saying, how they're saying it, when they're saying it, who they're saying it to, uh, and understanding how that's impacted from humans. The biggest human impacts include shipping. This study looks to understand and offer solutions to how boat noise can negatively affect whales. With all whale species, the major concerns are going to be the human impacts. Added stress means bioaccumulated toxins such as mercury or other chemicals found in the food whales eat could leach from a whale's blubber to its bloodstream. That can harm whales. It's why Aaron Chanmasay is concerned. This human impact um, is a huge deal and it just kind of gives us a better glimpse on what we need to be more um, responsible about, more aware about, and I just think that educating the general public is just a really important thing. And it proves research like this is truly sound. And so drones and acoustic recording technologies are the new ways that scientists are being able to determine what's happening to those animals when we can't see them all the time from a boat. Well, Dr. Bruck and SFA biology students also worked on how dolphins communicate and what they are trying to tell us about their environment. We'll dive into that story on an upcoming Hooked on East Texas.